Hi, Roy again, this time with a video regarding the Affordable Care Act that has been implemented or continues to be implemented over the past few years and how it integrates with our income tax system. Now we're covering this Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare, here in our chapter number nine that deals with tax credits. And we're going to learn about um, calculating a tax credit for health insurance in part two of the next video. But here in part one, let's talk about health insurance in general. So let's say we have a patient that needs some health care. So they go to see a doctor. We can call that person a health care provider. So the main um, people you think of as healthcare care provider are doctors, dentists, chiropractors, ophthalmologists, but maybe you also need some hospital care. Hospital. And maybe you go to, to a pharmacy to get a, a drug prescription or prescription for medical devices. And all of these services are quite expensive. So our patient has to pay a big health care cost. And we learned back in Chapter 5 regarding itemized deductions, health care costs could be a deduction. But this cost can be so expensive, and our patient may not have enough cash or assets to pay off their health care bill, that it may result in our patient going bankrupt or even homeless. So hopefully, our patients are covered with health insurance through a health insurance company. And some examples of health insurance companies here in Hawaii, the big one is called HMSA. We also have Kaiser, Kaiser Permanente. There's another one called HMAA, and UHA. There may be other affiliates uh, from the mainland that sell health insurance here in Hawaii. And hopefully, they'll pay the bulk, the big part of that health insurance cost incurred by our patient. Now our patient still has to pay some of that cost that we call a deductible or a co-payment. But again, the bulk of that cost hopefully is paid by the health insurance company. Now this health insurance coverage is not free. Patients have to pay for that health insurance. And we call that a premium, the cost of insurance. And this premium can be quite expensive. Maybe our patient thinks that they're quite healthy and won't get into any accidents or are disease free. And they're willing to risk just paying whatever cost they need. But if they incur a major medical cost, again, you would like to have that health insurance coverage. And to promote health insurance, it may be required that employers cover their employees with some health insurance. So here our patient, let's say, is an employee also, working for this employer, getting a salary or wage, and a fringe benefit, a tax-free benefit, is if the employer pays this premium for the patient, for their employees, for health insurance coverage. Now, depending upon state law or federal law, it may be required to share the cost of this premium between the employer and patient. So the employer will dock out of the pay part of that premium to help fund that insurance. Now, the good thing about taking it out from the employee's pay is that the remaining pay now is what's taxable to our taxpayer here, not the gross amount before deducting that uh, employee's share of the health insurance. So let's talk about um, insurance coverage or requirements for having insurance under the Affordable Care Act. Under the Affordable Care Act, U.S. citizens and residents are required to have health insurance, health insurance coverage. 
and if they don't if they don't have something called minimum essential coverage a certain level of health insurance our taxpayers and residents will be penalized with an additional tax they kind of uh, call it uh, a hide the penalty name by calling it a shared responsibility payment so if you don't have health insurance coverage then you're gonna have to pay this penalty now there may be exceptions for not being covered and not paying the penalty for example um, non-residents do not have to have health insurance coverage or if you're low income if you cannot afford health insurance and there are certain uh, measurements of that you're exempt from coverage or another example would be let's say you're, you're between jobs and you're not covered for health insurance for less than a three-month period then you're exempt from that penalty for that short period now what is health insurance coverage we we saw in the previous uh, slide you could be covered by your employer plan employers may need to cover their employees here in Hawaii if a employee works at least 20 hours a week then state law says that uh, generally you have to cover those employees with health insurance I believe under federal law under the Affordable Care Act it's uh, 30 hours a week or maybe you're retired and you're covered with Medicare there's different coverage for Medicare they call it parts parts A B C D I believe uh, the minimum essential coverage is part A maybe part C that has hospital insurance not the red uh, regular medical coverage of, of part B but part A and C is the minimum essential coverage for Medicare or if you're let's say a, a military dependent maybe you have something called TRICARE or if you're a retired veteran maybe you're covered with um, VA benefits health care benefits if you're low income maybe you're covered with uh, Medicare not Medicaid or something called uh, children's health insurance program I think in Hawaii it's called uh, Med MedQuest or you can buy health insurance on your own and not through these different uh, entities and if you do buy it on your own the best way to buy it is through a government sponsored marketplace Hawaii had a marketplace called the health connector but I believe they they stopped it okay so there's other states that have a marketplace but if the state state does not have a marketplace then you would probably go through the federal marketplace which now Hawaii uh, residents have to use and the motivation of using the marketplace is that you get a tax credit to help you fund the cost of health insurance if you get your health insurance through these other entities you do not qualify for the for the credit so go ahead and take a look at the next video that will show you how to calculate this credit and we'll also talk about maybe calculating a, a penalty.